Ayan. Yeah. Wow, Sorry. my baby. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Can I see? Wow. Dalawa na. Abu Dhabi. 2022 and 2023. <laughs> Panalo sa Kids 1 Under 16 KG category ang limang taong gulang na si Aleya Ayel Aguilar sa Abu Dhabi World Jiu-Jitsu Festival. Kayang-kaya niya ang grappling, ground fighting, at submission holds para mapasuko ang kalaban. Panalo ulit ng gintong medalya ang pinakabatang Jiu-Jitsu player ng Pilipinas sa Abu Dhabi Professional World Championship sa United Arab Emirates. Congratulations! Is it heavy? Kind of. How does it make you feel when you read it? World Jiu-Jitsu Champion. You're the youngest in the world. How did you do it? I started Jiu-Jitsu when I was two years old. Two years old? Yeah. Paano? Paano nag-start, Alvin? We, we, we both train. So we train a lot. Uh, see, May, her mother's the first Filipino world champion. Yes. We're always on the mats, and then ever since she was a kid, she saw it. Two years old pa lang, then we started giving her games as two years old, and later on, she had her formal lessons at around four. Formal lessons na? At four? Yeah, so what they do is we give them games. So the games are directly correlated to the movements in jiu-jitsu. So they think they're playing, but they're actually doing the jiu-jitsu moves already. Ano yung mga moves pag four years old? Animal movements, <laughs> Animal usually. Animal movements, movements it's just a lot. There's a lot, ah. yeah. Ano ba yung meron sa jiu-jitsu? Ano ang difference niya sa taekwondo? Jiu-jitsu, uh, what do you call it? It's, it emphasis is on ground fighting. Ah. Taekwondo is more of kicks. It's just basically kicks. The ones who taught us jiu-jitsu were the ones who started the UFC. The founders of the UFC, the one you see now on TV. Those were my instructors before, from Brazil and the US. You know? Because you're also the founder of mixed martial arts here in the Philippines. Yes. yes. You're the father. Yeah, something so, like that. Yeah. Uh, how many years now? We started doing underground fights in the 90s. Underground fights? Yes. Meaning? Like, we challenge, challenge, beat each other up, and then after that, we're done. We do it again. <laughs> the next Walang weekend. prize? Walang... Wala. Pride. Pride lang. Okay. Walang prize, pride yeah. lang. Yeah. Uh -oh. And then uh, we, we did that, and then in 2002, I put up the URCC because if you have underground fights, syempre, bad things happen also. Pag hindi makatanggap ng talo, it becomes too violent, diba? So we put up the URCC to sanitize everything. You're expecting 500 people to show up, 5,000 people showed up, and then until now, we're still going. Kasi narinig ko, May, three weeks old, sinama mo na siya sa training? Three weeks. Kakapanganak ko lang. I brought her to the mat. Kakapanganak mo lang. <laughs> Actually, I, I had to get clear because I was born emergency CS. So parang my, my doctor naman was very open. You know, she's very, she adjusted to me being an athlete. So she said, if I want to be on the mat, if I feel I can do it, she can, you know, I can go on the mat. So I was there on the mat. Nandun na siya nakalatag sa tabi namin habang nagtatrain ako. Oh. She was just there, yeah. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu baby talaga. Yeah. Since birth. Yes. What do you like about Jiu-Jitsu, Ayan? It's... Fun. It's, it's fun. Why is it fun for you? Because you can make a lot of friends and learn how to defend yourself. When there are bad people around you, you know how to defend yourself. Two years old, yung nag-show siya ng first interest? Yes. Yung sa jiu-jitsu. Yes. Paano niya nakita na may interest siya sa jiu-jitsu? She's always there in the mat. She's always happy to be there. She's always excited to be there. And then her friends are there also. We made sure we had a nice community of kids also with her. Of course, there are a lot of kids doing it. Pero paano mo nakita yung anak mo na may something special and something different with her? Uh, when she does the drills, and then when it's a competitive drill, you see it in her eyes that she wants to win. And very few people At two have, years old? Yeah. Takes after the, the mom. mom. The mom's very competitive. Baby pa lang kasi siya. <laughs> like, whenever we do things, she's like, I I'll do it. Yung parang one of her first few words after mama, papa, and dog, and cat was parang, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah. So parang, when, when it came, to, came down to training, she was like, I want to do it. What do you like in training? The techniques and sparring and the games. What techniques do you know? Can you teach me one technique? <laughs> what technique you can teach me or show me? Armbar and the punch choke. Oh, ano yun? Armbar. That's how she wins all the time with the armbar. 
It's a new arm bar. It's her favorite. Can you show us? Okay, so you you see it. Okay. Oh, teach me the. Can you get the arm? The arm, yes. And you put your leg over the head. Yes. Then you go here. Then. Yeah. Okay, you do it fast now. Ready? Dito siya nanalo. Yung finals match niya po arm bar sa okay. So from here, put my arm up. Go. There you go. Oh. So she won her finals in 10 seconds because of that technique. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pag champion siya, parang mas times to ng feeling ng pagiging champion para yes. sa magulang. Yes. Iba iba yung feeling. Mm -hmm. Parang you won as the first Filipina Jiu Jitsu champion, mm -hmm. di ba, in the world. Yes. Pero yung feeling na yung anak mo yung mag-champion, ano yung feeling for you? Grabe yung kaba mo pag yung anak mo talaga yung maglalaro eh. It's different. Um, you're scared. It, you're more scared also eh. Because you don't know. Especially the format where she competed in. The format allows the child to be you know independent because they they're, when they go out there to compete, they're on their own. Bawal po kasi yung coach sa playing area. So, I was worried kasi she's very attached to me. I was... I've breastfed her um, for two years, and she was. Wow, breastfed. So, nung two years old, nagbe breastfeed. Parin siya while doing the jiu jitsu. And he, yes. well, Shanaman, oh. even when she was competing in the world stage, she would go in the world stage. She would beat somebody. That's breastfeed mo na then lalaban siya ulit. Uh -huh. mm, <laughs> iba talaga ang mommy. Oh. Dun ka world champion. <laughs> na ilaban yung nagko compete tapos breastfeeding sa dressing room. Yes. Oh, so yun nga, dahil sobrang attached siya sa akin and pag nawawala ako sa room, parang iiyak siya, clingy siya. So, when it came to that point na parang, okay, no parents allowed, no coaches allowed, I'm like, oh my gosh, is she gonna do it? Is she gonna go out there and do it? And she did it. And then I was really, I was surprised, I was happy and excited and at the same time, I was very scared. Paano yung when she gets hurt? She doesn't get hurt naman. She's mm. pretty strong. She was so. born ready, like baby pa lang siya, like kunwari she stumbles, parang nasasala niya yung ulo niya. Uh, Parang natural, may natural may instinct, instinct na siya. Yeah. Uh -oh. Do you get hurt sometimes when you're training, you're sparring, you're competing? Oh, you don't get hurt. Yeah. What does jujitsu mean? Gentle, right? It's gentle. The gentle, gentle way, way of. Our art. Yeah, it's the gentle art. <laughs> may harap mag train kapag anak mo. I know, that's okay. She's, she's easy to train. She's very easy to train. After school, she has wrestling classes, then she has jujitsu after. She does it perfectly, so we have no problem because it comes from within, yeah. It's not like something now, you have to do this, you have to do this, ganyan. It's not like that. I think the discipline comes when they, they, they sit down and listen to the coach. We ask our students to sit down like a black belt, so they have a role model to strive for. Their goal is to become a black belt, eventually become a champion. So, yung listening to the coach, being able to perform the techniques. And then um, one thing I noticed with the kids event that they develop is yung ability to take care of themselves because like after class, parang naging ritual nila is to fold their own geese and then pack their own things. So yun, dun lumalabas yung discipline dun sa pag-practice nila ng martial art eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kasi diba, para maging world champion ka, hindi lang discipline, consistency, but it's also the mindset. Yes. You Definitely should have a mindset, mindset of a champion. Mm -hmm. You have the mindset of a champion because you are a champion yourself. Paano nyo na instill yung mindset na yun with her? Well, like for me, I make sure she's surrounded by people who have, who have achieved and people who do well. It has to be an environment because because I, I have the, I'm of the firm belief like if you hang out with four losers, you're going to be number five, right? So you have to make sure that, you know, You hang out with four champions, so you're the fifth champion. Something like that, yes. <laughs> because there are, you're two champions. Talagang kasama niya lagi. Siya ang naging third world champion and youngest pa. So, totoo talaga yun, no? Yes. The environment mm -hmm. is very, very influential. Very, very important. Sa upbringing ng isang bata. And not just bata. I think... And anybody, I guess. Anybody. Any age also. Ang laki ng nagagawa ng environment, who you hang out with, mm -hmm. and who you spend time with. Yes. Parang you become... <laughs> true, The true. people you hang out with. Yeah, because you, you unconsciously absorb whatever they are, di ba? So... Yes. Yeah. And I guess also because um, her brothers also compete. So may mga role models talaga siya sa bahay. Not just us, but also her siblings. Paano nyo na maintain yung balance sa bahay na like you're married, you're working together, you're training your child, you're raising up a new baby. Yeah. Di ba? Paano yung balance na yun as a family? For me, I, we, we enjoy each other's company naman. So like that. And then uh, I guess we're all clingy that way because when I when I leave, I make sure that kasama sila all the time. So it's, it's that kind of thing. Yeah. So we 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 train together, we hang out together, and then we travel for travel. for sports. Talaga yung travel mostly namin eh. 
What do you like most about training? Uh, the games. The games. What are the games? Sometimes we have to line up and do push-ups, and then ten push-ups and jumping, ten jumping jacks. It's like jack. a race. Yeah. The race, yeah. What's That's the good. hardest? Nothing. Oh, really? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Very Nothing. good. Everything is easy. What is your dream? Being a world champion, you already achieved it at a very young age, six years old. When you grow up, what do you want to be? Teach. Yeah. Uh, you want to teach what? Jiu-jitsu. You want to teach jiu-jitsu? <laughs> yes. To young girls. Wow, pwede siya. Certified siya. <laughs> May credential na. May qualifications para na siya. What's one thing that you always teach your child? Like Ayel? Her sons also as well. That you can only rely on yourself to get better. So that's it. You know, nobody else will be there to push you. You know, it also has to come from within. You know, you know that's basically it. So especially with the boys, right? Mm -hmm. No one else is gonna save you or whatever. It all has to come from you. You determine how good you become. You determine everything. You. But we are just here as guides. Ikaw. Yeah. Me. When they go on the stage, when they go out to compete, what they did behind the scenes, it comes out there. So they learn to, you know, overcome their fears, their, the, the pressure. When they go out on the mat, when they know that they worked hard, they, you know, um, they put it all out there and then the results speak for itself, you know. When she wins and even when she loses, you know, uh, I mean, she's experienced loss and, you know, at, how would you feel when you lose, baby? Uh, you already yeah. lost before? No. Did she cry? No. She would come back to us and say, Mama, can I try again? Masakit as a parent, but like seeing her na parang hindi siya, di naman, di naman, di naman siya disheartened. Di naman siya disheartened, pero parang alam niya parang gusto pa niyang subukan ulit and she's willing to go back and try again. So it teaches them resilience talaga. And I think that's one thing that's important that, you know, in a child's development, resilience talaga. In this world. Yes, in this world. Diba? Kaya nga nabasa ko yun eh, parang at a very young age dapat daw yung mga bata, pinapasok na sila sa sports kasi iba yung discipline, iba yung mindset. Yes. And it teaches them how to regulate their emotions True. in handling disappointments. True. True. Because in sports naman, or in any like competition, you don't always win. Losing is just part of the process getting yeah. there anyway. So The one time that she lost kasi, I, was, I was unable to travel with her because um, he was abroad and then I was preg. I was gonna give birth, I was due. But she really wanted to compete in Cebu. So I had my sister go with her. So when nag mamit nag pilit siya, mama, oh yeah, miyak siya. If I don't go, I know I want I want to compete. I really want to compete. Please let me go. So nakiusap pa ako sa kapatid ko. Kaya siya gisa mahan mo nga. Nagsebu siya mo kasama yung kapatid ko bunso. Nung nag compete siya, and she didn't she didn't get what she wanted the gold, but eventually, but after it, sabi niya, mama, it's okay. I'm gonna try again next competition. Sa niya na kuya yon yung ganong attitude na sobrang yung persistent. Yeah. Tsaka yung, yung perseverance. At a young age, five years old. Mm -hmm. And she's a positive influence even in the gym. Cause like when her teammates lose and then they cry, parang siya nandun, parang it's okay, you know, I lost too. And uh, yeah, ginagana niya yung mga... You encourage, you encourage other girls like that, right? your, your friends. Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. Mm -hmm. What do you want people to know about jiu-jitsu? About this sport? Okay, this is a sport that anyone can do at any age. And then you can be equally as effective as you know, as any strong guy because it's all technique. It's just technique, timing, and leverage. If you master that, you'll be able to beat most. And the thing is, you can you can be competitive in it. You can just use it for exercise, or you can just use it to have fun. So there's so many ways around it. We have old students. We have really young students. We have guys who are you know working during the day. They just say go there to distress. It's a it's a martial art for, literally for anyone and everyone. Ano age pa din start mag jiu jitsu? Um, for formal lessons, about four years old, five years old. Yeah. Until what age? Until um, the founder of jiu jitsu, the one who taught me, see Helia Gracie, was training until he was ninety. Oh. He was training until the week he died. Meron bang like routine, daily routine ang mga a family of champions? When it's calm, it's calm season. We we follow mm -hmm. a schedule. But when it's uh, when it's not calm season, we it's off season. We train what two to four hours a day lang. Um, Every day, also, yeah? yeah, it's also fun for us, kasi. So, because if it's your passion, it doesn't feel like yes, work at all, right? Exactly. So, so, si Ayel, she trains two to four hours? Yeah, she does wrestling first, then she does Jiu Jitsu after, and sometimes it's both classes of Jiu Jitsu. What if she's sleepy? Because she's a toddler, mm. two years old. We, we, we have time. Pa yun. No, nung two years old to three, yun yung mga parang 30 minutes lang siya mag to train to sa alis siya. Mm. Tas nung nag four na siya, dun talaga humaba yung attention mm -hmm. span. Because when they're two and three, you can't make the class more than an mm -hmm. hour or more than 30 minutes actually. Because mm -hmm. they'll wander off. Eh. So you make it, yeah. Do you train every day now? Yes. Ah, uh, now really? After school? 
Yes. How long do you train? Every day. For four. For hours. hours. Yeah. You don't get bored. You don't get tired. You don't get hurt when you're training. You like it when you're training. All of our kids are national champions. We produce the most champions in Asia already. Whoa. So um, we're the largest team also now in Asia. We're bigger than China, Japan, in the Philippines. Wow. We have 33 gyms here. Yeah. So we're a lot. But after pandemic, kasi we our our team we focused on the kids program na talaga, especially galing time pandemic. So talagang nagboom talaga yung kids program kasi all the kids recouped up during the pandemic. So when everything opened up, they allowed gyms to operate. All of the kids just came pouring in, and you know, we have the largest kids program in the Philippines. Like we were able to host um, our, for our in-house for kids twice, na, last year and this year, and we had like almost 200 kids registered. Just the 200 so, around their age. Like, the train, the we have a lot of girls. little girls, and our little girls do really well. We have girls who are undefeated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, really? all ages. So if I get more funding for them, I can bring them around the world also. To compete. Yeah, because you know we have, there are so many girls now, like her age, a little bit older, who are really, really good. And then we have the parent support also, which is very important. Yeah. Very important. I think that that's what makes a champion yes. when the parents are behind a child. True. True.